Hey guys, what's up, and welcome to Loot from 40 Minutes of Water Fiends. And you might be thinking, 40 minutes, that's kind of an arbitrary number. Uh, why would you do that? But that's because uh, if you watched my previous video, which I uploaded yesterday, there'll be a link in the description for that if you want to check it out. Um, I showed you guys how to do familiarization, which is a really cool mini-game. Um, it takes about 5-10 minutes to do, so it's not very long. You do it once a week. And the reward for the mini-game is you can get triple charms for 40 minutes. I don't know why they chose 40 minutes either. It would have been way easier to make it like half an hour or an hour, but they chose 40 minutes. So, whatever. They can do what they want to do, I guess. Uh, they being Jagex. But, um, anyway, no hard feelings. I did do this for 40 minutes, and I collected all the loot pretty much I picked up all the drops which was a really bad idea and I would not recommend that you do that and other than that I killed them as fast as I could um, for the first about 200 kills or so I was on task because I did have a task of water fiends rather conveniently um, so I was using a slayer helm and I got a slayer helm bonus and then as soon as my task ran out I started turmoiling which gives you know a little bit less but almost the same amount of bonus so I was killing them roughly the same speed the entire time but anyway um, I would recommend if you do come here that you fill a yak full of prayer potions and turmoil because it does make it faster I'd also recommend not to pick up all the drops because I made a little bit of money you'll see exactly how much all the loot ended up to be at the end of the video because I did keep very close track of everything which was a huge pain but I did it um, and it just was not worth picking up all the drops. Um, I would say pick up the water orbs, but don't pick up anything else, because the water orbs are like 2.5k each, and they're noted, so you need to pick those up. Um, but don't pick up anything else. Just leave it all on the ground and focus on killing your water fiends as fast as possible. So the entire point of this video was pretty much just to see... Um, I guess if doing the triple charms is really, really worth it to you, and I'll let you be the judge of that, you will see how many charms I got at the end of the video. Um, I just realized that I am using drag ores and overloads and turmoil, so I'm going to be killing them very, very fast. If you have uh, lower stats, or if you are killing them with like a royal crossbow without turmoil or overloads, it's going to be slower, but you'll still get a lot of charms. Um, so no matter what your stats are, unless you're like below 60 range, you'll still be able to kill water fiends at a fairly decent rate, and you still will be able to gather a lot of charms. Um, definitely a lot more than you'd normally be able to. So this is completely up to you to determine if this is worth it for you or not to do. I would say uh, since double XP weekend is coming up and you want to be using all your charms on summoning, if you still need to train that summoning during the XP weekend, um, that you definitely want to try this out because you have a couple weeks until then uh, so you can get a couple familiarization runs in there. Um, one thing I did want to say is I was killing these in the Chaos Tunnels, and there are a whole bunch of fail PKers um, on the way to the Chaos Tunnels. Just for the next couple weeks, since uh, Double XP Weekend is coming up, it's going to be really crowded at the Water Fiends in the Ancient Cavern. But if you can find an empty world at the Ancient Cavern, go ahead and kill them there. It's a little less annoying. You have to run around a little bit less in the Ancient Cavern. Um, and also, you don't have fail PKers trying to kill you. Um, so, if you do come into the Chaos Tunnels to kill your Water Fiends, I would recommend just to bring a couple of Sharks and make sure you have your defensive abilities open. And if they try to stun you, just free them, eat a couple of Sharks, and run away, or tab. Um, it's really not that hard to get away from them. It's just a slight annoyance if they do attack you. So just keep that in mind. Um, but anyway, we're nearing the end of the 40 minutes here. Um, I also had a friend who did this at the same time as I did, and he did not pick up drops. Um, and I, he was also lagging a bit less since I was recording, you know, in full screen here, um, with, on a laggy world, because I had to hop a couple times. And, uh, it just ended up being a little bit laggy, but he had a bit of a better time, and he said he collected, uh, 713 charms in the 40 minutes. And as you see, I collected... Uh, 592 charms. So you can pretty much see all the sackable drops that I had in my inventory there, and uh, we're gonna head into the full loot and price check, and you'll see exactly how many charms I got now, um, and exactly how much the loot was worth. Again, um, do as I say, not as I do, and just don't pick up drops. Just focus on killing those water fiends as fast as possible and making the most out of your charms. So anyway, good luck. Check out the link in the description, and onto the loot. So guys, this is my final loot from the 40 minutes of killing the water fiends. I unfortunately made the mistake of not really having any good way to keep track of all the drops that I got that I yacked, so I had to painstakingly go through the entire video um, and 
you know, look what all the drops were and add them to my inventory. But anyway, um, so I did pick up everything. Unfortunately, since I spent a lot of time to pick up drops, I didn't spend as much time killing the water fiends and I could have gotten more charms. Um, but unfortunately, I do have this thing called OCD, which does not allow me to leave drops on the floor. I have tried. It does not work. Um, so, of course, the drops do pay for the supplies, about 800k um, in 40 minutes, so it's about 1.2 mil an hour killing water fiends. Um, however, it's probably more worth it while you're on triple charms just to kill uh, water fiends more and pick up drops less. But yeah, 592 crimsons in 40 minutes, so that is pretty darn good um, summoning XP. So yeah... I would recommend to do this every week. Again, if you don't know how to do familiarization um, and this mini game, how to how it works, how to go about doing it, it's really easy. It takes about five minutes. You get 40 minutes of triple charms. It's totally worth doing. Just check check out the link in the description below, um, and that will take you to my familiarization guide. And there you will find out all the information you need on how to do the mini game. But anyway, um, really great time to do this. In time for a bonus XP weekend. Uh, thanks for watching and farewell, guys. See you again next video.